So what are our latest mods for the Suron? What I'm gonna do is remove it, splice these new lights in, and mount it to the handguards. That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with EV tech tips, lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today we're gonna check out the latest mods we made for our Suron electric bike. We'll talk about what we did, how we did it, and share links to all the parts in the description. So let's get to it. So let me give you some background on what this mod is about. I saw an Instagram video where someone put sequential lights on their hand guards on a dirt bike. And basically when you turn on the lights, it has a really cool sequence. Since the lights are mounted on the hand guards, they kind of act as secondary headlights or something like that, or fog lights. So I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't exactly know what LED lights they used or if it was like one piece. Did some half-assed internet research and found that there is actually a light that you could purchase on Amazon. If you go through our channel, we have a video that goes over all the lighting that we did for this build. So I won't go over that here, but basically what's gonna happen is, I'll turn the lights on. This fork light, which is our signal light we have right, what I'm gonna do is remove it, splice these new lights in, and mount it to the hand guards. And these are what the light strips look like. I think I ordered like the 13 inch <laughs> light, which is really long, but uh, I did measure it from like the end of here all the way to the handle of the hand guard. So it should wrap around like this. And we just gotta kind of figure out how to mount it. It is flexible, but it is pretty, pretty strong. I think there's like a couple of like uh, bars of light that show up and then they move around, something like that. It, it'll look really cool when you turn on the bike. So it may look cool, it may look ridiculous, but that's why we try these things. So we could spend the money and you don't have to <laughs> until, until we uh, test it and make sure that it's something that you may be into. So let's install it. yourself. A quick word from our sponsor, Underground Printing. Underground Printing is a national provider of custom printed apparel, offering screen printing and embroidery on a wide range of apparel and promotional products. You can make your own design or choose from one of the many available on their website. We've ordered custom apparel from a variety of companies in the past, but Underground Printing provides the best customer service we've ever seen. They have an experienced sales staff that assisted us in selecting the right product and made design recommendations that were perfect for our needs. They also have an easy to use website where you can choose your options and place an order in less than five minutes. Right now we're rocking a custom black and orange cotton heavy blend hoodie. We went with a centered run playback logo, which we uploaded directly to their site. In addition to the hoodie, we also ordered matching Gildan heavy cotton tees and embroidered Yupong flat brim snapback hats. The screen printing technology UGP uses produces vibrant colors that are long lasting and extremely durable. So if you wanna make your own custom apparel, click the UGP link in the description box and use our coupon code RUNPLAYBACK321 to get 10% off. Okay, we finally installed our custom handguard LEDs. It was a pretty simple install. Like I said, we have a video about how to wire up your Suron with custom lighting. We just use the same lighting as our fork lights for the new LED strips that are installed on these handguards. So these handguards are a Cherbies dirt bike handguards. I'll put a link in the description. This LED strip is a sequential LED signal light, also on Amazon. We got the largest size, I think it was like 
13 inches or so. You know, they're flexible, but they are pretty stiff. So that's why we had to add a zip tie here, zip tie in the middle, and then a zip tie back here. There's also some adhesive on the bottom to keep it, you know, really close to the hand guard. So we also installed a dual switch. This is from Grit Shift. So this is a switch that controls the headlight and the taillight. I wired it a little bit differently. So the headlight is controlled separately from the rest of the signal lights and the taillights. When you don't want it as bright, you just want to keep the hand guard LEDs on, almost like fog lights, then that's what the switch is good for. You know, you could turn off this grid shift headlight, which is super bright. And before we turn on the lights, uh, just real quick, some other mods that we did. I installed these custom wheel disc covers. This really doesn't do anything in terms of performance. It's all just aesthetic reasons. I was actually inspired by the bike in a TV show called The Peripheral on Amazon Prime. We actually have a friend who's a producer on that show, and we reached out and we were like, what's, what's that bike that uh, the main character is using, the main character Flynn. And I think it was based on one of the stealth bomber bikes. And so their art department took that bike and they added, you know, a bunch of different things to it, including wheel covers. I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. That was the inspiration for it. I know most of you in the comments are gonna be like, that's ridiculous. It's like adding an unnecessary part to the bike, uh, especially if you're like in windy situations, it could theoretically push the bike over, I don't know. I just made it out of three millimeter PVC foam. So it's really, really lightweight. It's not like an ABS plastic. It weighs nothing. And they're just connected with uh, some zip ties. I also put uh, this glossy vinyl on top. All this stuff I'll link in the description. Zip ties are basically holding it to the spokes, which can easily be removed. Outside of it is just some electrical tape to fill in all the gaps. Also had some custom orange vinyl, and I just made a little bit of a interesting like wheel rim decal. That's a really simple mod. I don't think it needed a full blown like explanation or a video step-by-step -step tutorial. If you are interested in knowing how I did it, just, you know, hit me up in the comments. So now let's look at what this handguard LED mod looks like. So I'll turn the bike on. You can see that sequential, uh, really cool sequential animation. <laughs> we'll do it again. So, yeah. So it's really cool how like sort of the light kind of just bounces back and forth until it fills everything up, goes bright, and then it dims down. And it's a very subtle thing, but at night it looks super cool. I like it. Again, inspired by someone on Instagram who did it. What's cool is these also work as signal lights, so. That is what it looks like when I'm signaling right. So I think it's pretty cool. It also lifts the signal lights up above by the handlebars. I had them like way down here on the fork. And since the bike is lowered, when I'm riding through the city, sometimes vehicles don't know that I'm actually trying to turn. And so that's what this would be helpful for. It's also on the outside of the guards, which kind of defeats the purpose of this bike landing on the guards. So it could potentially damage the LED strip. I know, I get it, don't really care. And then um, this is what it looks like with the headlight on. You get all the lights on, <laughs> off, on, or we just want the strips on like that. And these aren't as bright as the headlights, so this might be just good enough when you don't need to see 50 feet in front of you. You need to solder, you need some heat shrink, a crimping kit or whatever. If you watch any of our electrical videos, it's pretty straightforward. So those are the latest mods we made to our Suron electric bike, and we shared all the links to the parts in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave them in the comments below. If you wanna dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.